Retired Supreme Court Judge Justice S. Abdul Nazir is in the eye of a storm after he was appointed the Governor of Andhra Pradesh. Not just the opposition parties, but a large number of commentators and journalists too seem to be up in arms. Some of them ostensibly implying that Justice Nazir must have compromised himself while he was on the bench to get this post-retirement employment. Linkages are being made to two key judgments that he was part of, the Ayodhya verdict and the Triple Talaq judgment. But nothing could be farther from truth. Any judge is part of hundreds of verdicts through his career and not all would be in the favour of the government of the day. Also, he is not the first ST judge to get any post-retirement employment or even governorship. Former Chief Justice of India P. Satasivam and former SC Judge Justice Fatima Bivi were also appointed governors. Justice Satasivam was appointed Kerala governor in 2014 by the Modi government. But Justice Fatima Bivi was appointed Tamil Nadu governor in 1997 when Devi Gowda was the prime minister. So the president is there and no special consideration seems to have been made in Justice Nazir's case. The Congress has called Justice Nazir's appointment as a great threat to the independence of the judiciary. However, the party forgets is that in the past, they too have made a similar appointment. In fact, it was way back in 1952 that Sir Sayyid Fazal Ali, a retired judge of the Supreme Court, was made governor of Assam and Odisha. What has caught the eye of the opposition in this case is that Justice Nazir's appointment comes just a month after his retirement. Also, Justice Nazir is the third judge from the five-judge bench of the Ayodhya verdict to get a post-retirement position, while former CJI Ranjan Gogoi was nominated as member of the Rajya Sabha, Justice Ashok Bhushan was appointed the chairperson of the National Company Law Appellate Tribunal in 2021 four months after his retirement. Now, let's be clear about the case. There is no bar on a Supreme Court judge being offered post-retirement position. Neither is there any mention of a cooling off period before such a post can be offered. And apart from governorships, there are dozens of tribunals, etc. where post-retirement positions are available for judges. So, the question is why single Justice Nazir out? It is one thing to oppose any post-retirement positions for judges and even IAS or IPS officers as a matter of policy. The opposition can campaign for a clear-cut policy on post-retirement posts for various categories of judges or officials. There might even be a case of a cooling-off period. However, it's wrong to target Justice Nazir alone, especially by commentators who claim to be independent. Also, any insinuation that Justice Nazir or any other judge of the Supreme Court may have compromised himself to get a post-retirement employment should be condemned in the strongest terms. That's all for now. Keep watching Times of India.